Hello, good afternoon everyone. I am Prasoon Agrawal from EQ International Magazine. And today I am here with Mr. Steve McDonald, who is a VP of Application Engineering at Aurora Solar Technologies. Hi, Steve. Hi there. Nice. To, thanks for having me. <laughs> First of all, I would just like to have a brief introduction about Aurora Solar and what product offerings does it have for the Indian solar market? Perfect. Um, so Aurora Solar, uh, we manufacture process control solutions for the solar cell manufacturing industry. Um, they're really geared towards the diffusion optimization and control, uh, optimizing the manufacturing yield, uh, reducing losses, capturing manufacturing issues quicker, um, really all sorts of ways of trying to help solar cell producers be more profitable, uh, more efficient operations. Can you also give a brief introduction about the company Aurora Solar? How old is it? How, how did it begin and since when have you entered the Indian solar market? Perfect. Um, so Aurora was founded in 2009. Um, it was founded in Vancouver, Canada uh, by a team with a lot of experience process control in the steel manufacturing, pulp and paper manufacturing industries. Uh, they had some pretty cool technology that really helped to revolutionize those industries uh, and they decided to take it to the solar industry. Um, so since then we have installations really all across the world, uh, Europe, China, Taiwan, Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, um, and Canada. And we're really looking forward to working in the Indian industry. Um, we've just entered the Indian market. This is this is our first show here. Uh, have some very good prospects and looking forward to working with top tier producers in, in India. So uh, can, I, can I can can you also throw some light on the on the technology of your particular product? What sort of unique technology are you using? How 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 does it uh, compete against uh, against against your competitors in the market? Uh, absolutely. So the, the technique is called non-contact infrared reflectometry. Uh, and the general idea is we shine infrared light at the wafers. Um, based on the amount of uh, dopant that's in the wafer, it allows us to, to non-contact and infer what's going on in the uh, the emitter, which is one of the key process uh, variables. Um, so that's, that's what we really use. Uh, we've got our new technology here that we're showing. It's called the Gemini, uh, which is designed for measuring high, uh, high efficiency cells by facial type applications uh, that have a layer on the front and on the back of each wafer. Uh, something on the business front, Steve, I mean, w what sort of business opportunities are you seeing in the Indian market right now? I mean, government of India has set an ambitious target of achieving 100 gigawatt by 2022. So how much of the market share, I, I, I should ask, uh, are, you, are you looking to capture? <laughs> in a perfect world, 100%. Um, in, in practice, we're really aiming to work with the high efficiency manufacturers. Uh, that's really where our tools uh, become very valuable. Uh, higher efficiency processes have uh, tighter margins. Um, in terms of uh, control um, in, in order to maintain sufficient uh, yields at the end of the line. Uh, so in, in reality, any, any of the high efficiency Indian manufacturers are exactly who we want to work with. Can you uh, give some details as to your manufacturing facility and uh, where are they located? I mean, we see a lot of companies who are, uh, you know, presently operating in India are either European or Chinese manufacturers majorly. I mean, that's where the market dominance is. So you being a Canadian company, so how do you, uh, uh, you know, make make uh, make do in the in the Indian market right now? So all of our products are manufactured in Vancouver, Canada, um, at our headquarters and manufacturing facility hasn't been a challenge so far um, we, we only have one manufacturer that's really a competitor in Europe um, but our products are more efficient um, and we've got much better service so it hasn't been a problem competing against them <laughs> perfect Steve so now I would like to you know move move your attention towards this product which we which we are displaying here so I thought you would like to uh, give a give a demo about that so absolutely um, so can we can we can we move to that yeah absolutely please please so this is the uh, Decima Gemini CD system. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So this is the Decima Gemini CD system. Uh, it measures one track of measurements down the center of each wafer. Uh, we also have a three-track version that gives you uh, information across each edge of the wafer too. Um, so when we measure, uh, the wafer will move directly underneath the system. Uh, there will be no touching of the wafer. We don't require it to stop. So it truly is an on-the-fly measuring system. Um, so I'll give you a, a demonstration of how it moves. It's going to take 30 seconds. This is not the demonstration. It has to do a quick homing because I haven't played with it for a while.
Okay, there we go. Now I can jump back into the demonstration. So, um, so this demonstration, it's a, a very simple setup that we use for demonstration purposes. Uh, in a production plant, this would usually be installed as part of an automation system, uh, typically a diff diffusion furnace unloader tool uh, that would be processing the wafers out of the diffusion boat. Um, so as the wafer is unloaded, it will be automatically conveyed past our system. Um, during the time that it took to do that scan, which is less than a second, uh, we will have measured 10 points down the center of the wafer, and then we automatically display it on the screen. Um, Anything else? That's honestly about the demonstration right there. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> All right, Steve. So that was a really nice presentation and, 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 and a really nice opportunity speaking with you here. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much.